Um, I'm going to try to make a brief uh, vid video here of um, how to modify a uh, standard flat top um, AR15 receiver uh, to fit <coughs> uh, a. Uh, I don't think you can see it here, but uh, to fit a uh, <coughs> 450 Bushmaster thumper uh, round. So right now you can see that uh, it fits sometimes, depending on the angle, but very tight. You can see right here it doesn't fit. Uh, the head uh, of the case is too large. The frontal part is, I guess, could work, but unfortunately the cartridge uh, doesn't fit properly. You can see it here. Okay, so, well, <laughs> well now it does. Oh well. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Anyway, so um, I started here, I taped with an electric tape here a little bit and here a little bit. Uh, the main thing is that um, all, all around the uh, um, injection port. Actually that's what I'm going to be modifying. Uh, the important part is to cover as much. Um, I was I didn't know whether I should use a uh, Dremel tool or a file and I think I'm, I'm going to try to actually use a Dremel tool for this. Just do it very carefully. Probably uh, holding uh, um, or fixing this in the in the vice that I have here. Um, anyway, so let, let's let's see what's going to happen. Okay, so right now I'm going to try uh, start taping it. All right, so you can see here I have um, <coughs> um, several uh, different kinds of um, masking tape uh, used for uh, household uh, painting or uh, automotive painting, like the blue one. Um, <clears throat> I used it when I was airbrushing motorcycles. Uh, but anyway, so let, let me uh, start and then we'll see what happens. Actually, I'm going to try to uh, tape as much as possible and uh, insides uh, of the receiver as well. You know, one little slip and uh, uh, a pretty expensive uh, thing will just turn into uh, you know an ugly looking piece of junk. Well, functional, but still a piece of junk. All right. Oh yeah, by the way, um, the measurement uh, of the gate is, uh, well, appro approximately 0.4, you see 0.482, I don't know if you can see it, and uh, you can see in the center it's a little wider, yeah, it's actually a little over a uh, half inch. Yeah, exactly about half inch. Uh, and depending on the angle at which you hold the calipers, caliper, uh, it also changes the, the width. Because uh, it's it's not really, I don't know, you can't probably see here, but uh, this is not, uh, there, there, it's not the right angle here. Uh, more like a 30 degree angle, the way it's milled out of the receiver. Um, anyway, so yeah, in the cartridge, uh, this end, it's almost exactly a half inch. Okay, and it's tapered, and the taper here is uh, the diameter of the smaller end, uh, the head, I guess is uh, 4.8 so that's why it fits here and doesn't fit from the other end okay so you can see uh, I taped pretty much everything um, now I just left the inside and also um, I'm gonna tape um, the upper side of the cut of the um, ejector, ejection port and also the sides here because I really don't need to make any changes. So um, after that I'm going to grind a little bit on the bottom, uh, see how that works 
and then uh, I'll try to make uh, make it as even as possible and then um, if I need a little more then I'll try to take a little bit at the top uh, to make sure that the gate also closes not that I really have to use the gate but uh, still okay let's see in case you're interested here's the difference between uh, the two cartridges actually in this case just a case from a 223 okay so you can see it's pretty uh, dramatic difference so there I did it um, you can see it's all taped around uh, uh, two actually three or four uh, layers of tape so let's um, let me uh, see what I can do and then if I, how I can videotape it or I mean uh, tape it okay so uh, uh, you can see that um, I actually decided not to use my vise but uh, rather um, just a C-clamp and I clamped it um, to <coughs> my um, workbench here um, made sure that um, I don't squeeze it too hard just enough for it to you know hold it a little bit and I also left enough room on the workbench so I can use uh, you know I can lean um, or rest my uh, arms my wrists uh, when I do grinding okay so I'm probably not gonna show how I grind uh, it's gonna uh, it's not gonna I don't think it's gonna really work out that well uh, but uh, anyway maybe just the beginning we'll see okay so here's I'm gonna be using this um, um, grinding thingy here um, so uh, basically uh, let's try I'm setting it on the um, 15,000 rpm here Luckily it's aluminum and not uh, steel or it would have been a different story. Alright. So I have a feeling that... Uh, I don't need to do any more. Uh, it doesn't feel awfully awesome but... Let's try to fix it. Alright, well now I'll take it apart and uh, we'll measure it. 